Hey, I'm Zeb, employee of Mr. Maple. Uh, today, Matt and Tim are going to talk about the Acer Palmatum Edgewood. Hi, I'm Matt Nichols at MrMaple.com. Today we're going to be talking about Acer Palmatum Dissectum Edgewood. This is a really fun lace leaf with a lot of color changes. Hi, and I'm Tim at MrMaple.com. We greatly appreciate you watching this video. Please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any comments, please post those in the comment section. We definitely check those out. And as always, sign up for our weekly emails on MrMaple.com. We had 10 new fun, exciting trees every single Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's going to be an email you want to be a part of. If you're not growing Acer Palmatum Edgewood in your garden, you should be. It's a really fun tree. It's one I first saw in our friend Ed Shen's garden. You may know him online on many different forums as NJ Acer. There's some beautiful examples of the one in his garden. We've got a lot of pictures we've taken over that over the years in this presentation as well. So definitely check those out. I love Edgewood for all the many colors it goes through. Edgewood is a, a lace leaf, so it's again a low cascading umbrella, but it's going to give you some really intense color changes. This tree leaves out more purple than red, so you're going to get a bright purplish color and that low cascading umbrella. The stems on uh, Edgewood are a bright yellowish green, which really accent that deep purple really well. So right off the bat, even in itself in early spring, the colors are really cool. So it's deep purple with bright green accents in there. The fall colors are excellent. So some people actually call this tree Edgewood Golden, but Edgewood is the original name. The fall color is one of the most electric golden yellows of any of the lace leaves, which is quite interesting that it changes from that dark purplish color to a really, really nice golden yellow in the fall. Yeah, and it goes from those yellows to orange in the fall with some really, really electric colors. Edgewood, or Edgewood orange as some people call it, or Edgewood golden, is such an amazing, amazing plant. I, I love it because it gets right around three to four feet tall by about five to six foot wide. It has a very nice cascading umbrella habit You'll see here on our edge woods that we have available right now, they're grafted up about so anywhere between 6 inches and 12 inches. A little bit higher graft allow them to cascade down an umbrella off of that. Really nice weeping form that's going to accentuate, provide a lot of great color that contrasts, like Matt said, in the spring, summer, and fall. And even contrasts with itself with those red leaves on the green stemming. So with that great habit and size, again, more of a lace leaf overall, there are a lot of fun uses for that. It's going to have that low cascading umbrella, so it's going to look like a small umbrella in the garden, which gives it a ton of good uses. This is a great tree for the conifer garden. This actually does good in sun, zones 5 uh, through 8. You want to give it shade in zone 9. This is an excellent tree for sun, though. This makes an excellent container garden plant, for sure, because of that smaller overall stature. So you can get those dark purples and pull them around the garden in the container. These work great in the container, zone 6 through 9. So in zone 5, you want to plant in the ground or protect your containers in the winter. But an excellent tree for so many uses, and one that pairs extremely well with other Japanese maples. I like putting this, you know, because the color is so different, being a, a dark, almost more of a purple color than a maroon in the garden. I like pairing it with a lot of the greens. So put this next to your waterfall. Put this next to some of those chartreuses in the spring. It's really going to pop and show out next to some of those. So an excellent tree to pair next to waterfall or sekimori or veritas because those color complements are going to really look unreal. And you're going to see how different this color is than one like, say, Tamukiyama or um, Garnet. You're going to see how different this is more of a dark burgundy, or not dark burgundy, dark purple in the color. And Edgewood is such an amazing plant. It, like Matt said, Ed Shin is one of our good friends, and he was sort of our first link to Dick Wolf. Dick Wolf was at Lima, in Lima, Pennsylvania, had red maple nurseries. Ed actually went and purchased some of the original plants uh, that he had in his garden, an amazing garden if you ever get a chance to visit it. Some of his original plants came from Dick Wolf. And so Ed's sort of our connection to him, and we've got some great photos that Ed's let us uh, use of this in fall colors throughout the seasons at Ed's place. Dick Wolf actually found this as a... a uh, tree that was growing at Edgewood Cemetery. It is very, very popular just because it's so unique, different, with amazing fall color, and Dick Wolf introduced it into the nursery tree. Hey, let's take an up-close look at Acer Palmatum Edgewood and show you why this one is such a cool color palette. So here we have an up-close look at Acer Palmatum Dissectum Edgewood. 
I love how this one's just really a dark purplish color. It, it gives it a really unique color in the landscape. I think it stands out among a lot of lace leaves. It's a very unique habit. I really like, you can see here what I was describing earlier, that chartreuse uh, stem to it. it. Gives it a really interesting habit. You're going to get even more of that bright chartreuse on the new growth, and especially in sunlight. It's a dark, dark purple with the bright chartreuse green stems. And you'll see it even almost has a little bit of a green eye to it down the center, which really just accentuates that, that dark red foliage and that green stemming. Such a fun plant with such amazing colors, especially that bright, bright yellow to orange fall color. But mostly I like the spring color. Mostly I like the fall color. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our quick look at Acer Palmatum Dissectum Edgewood, a really fun tree with a lot of great uses in the garden. This is going to be a tree that adds a lot of great color with a very nice weeping habit and a very dynamic fall color. Yeah, I love it for that spring color because it really shows out with a lot of dark purple. I think it's one of the most fun purple lace leaves we do for sure. And, and I love it because the fall color, because I, it's so starkly different from its spring color. I think we're getting into a Twix argument here. <laughs> but yeah, this is a great tree you're going to love in your garden for sure. Uh, so definitely stay tuned to the end of the video. You'll see some different pictures of that throughout the season. We're still doing our giveaway, so comment on any of our videos. I dig Japanese maples for a chance to win one of those Japanese maple t-shirts. That's all the way until June 1st. That's June 1st, 2020. You can comment on any video, I dig Japanese maples. Every submission that you comment on, every time you comment on a video on YouTube, that is the time you're entered in a submission. So every single video we have from the month of May to April, you can actually comment on each one of those videos to get another submission. So a winner will be picked. You have to be subscribed to our channel uh, to win and then comment and we'll go through and the more times you comment the more chance you have to win we greatly appreciate it if this was popular we're definitely gonna be doing some more giveaways this was just our thank you for 1000 subscribers uh giveaway hey hit our bell if you're a first time watcher too that bell will give you any of our notifications here on youtube we greatly appreciate you liking and sharing our videos with other gardeners as well yeah and like matt said uh please sign up for our weekly emails on mrmaple.com 10 new fun trees every single tuesday at 10 a.m uh it's something that we work really hard on, and we really hope that you enjoy. Hey, thanks, have a great day, and God bless. If you're still with us, don't forget to comment I dig Japanese maples on any of our videos to be entered to win our free t-shirt. Thanks for watching.